Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hi, hi. Good night, teacher. Good night. Oh, how are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good to see you. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. How are you? Fine. Nice. What's the weather like where you are? Is it very cold? Is it very cold where you are? Yes or no? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. <laughs> ¿Qué tal el clima por allí? Uh, está algo frío. <ríe> sí. Chuto, sí. Aquí está bastante, bastante fresco. Sí, es cierto. <ríe> por lo que hace poco estaba que se quemaba uno, hoy está bien fresco. Está fresco, correcto. <ríe> <ríe> Okay. Okay, perfect. <coughs> Vamos a ver. Let's see if everybody is here. 26 today. Anna, Alicia. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, Durán Rivas, Carolina. Carolina. No here, Carolina. Present teacher. Hey, y su camarita. ¿Va de viaje todavía? Sí, teacher, no he salido del trabajo todavía. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Nice. Grace Mitchell. Grace. Hernandez Isabel. Present teacher. Nice, Isabel. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. No here. Juan Jose. Juan José, no está Juan José. Okay. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Nice. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Luis Edgardo. Luis Present teacher. Edgardo. Ok. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Nice. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. Great. Noé David. No hay David, no here. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Okay. Teresa de Jesús. Teresa. Yuri Alexandra. Present teacher. Okay. Todavía va de viaje. Llegando justamente a casa, teacher. Ya en un rato enciendo la cámara. Excelente. Okay. Rita Alexander. Present, teacher. Present. Ok, perfecto. Ahí estamos. 
no sé. No sé este si cómo se llama. Alguien se conectó después de que lo llamé. Grace Michelle. José Alfredo. Juan José. Carla Lorena. Present. Ok. Noé David. Teresa de Jesús. Ok. Bueno, ahí estamos completos con los que somos. Ay, ve qué bonita y se re completo. Ay, <ríe> sorry. Ay, no, lo voy a dejar abierto de nuevo. Va, ok, ahí está. Por minimizarlo lo sé. Re. Pero ahí estamos ya. Bye, check. Uh, yesterday, if you remember, we were talking about countable and uncountable nouns, right? And you were also asking questions with how much and how many. Do you remember? Yes. So right now I have a, a, a group of words for you. So you're going to look at them. Let me see. You're going to look at them and decide. Decide if they are countable or non-countable. According to what we were saying yesterday, that countable words are those that we can count and uncountable words are those we cannot count. Yes? Okay. Tell me, pages, Marina, are pages countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Can I say one page, two pages, three pages? Yes, it's, it's a countable. Okay, they are countable, very good. David, San, is San countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, very good. Lemons, Rosie, are lemons countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Mm, Carla Lorena, pens, countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable, great. Yuri Alexandra, notebooks. Notebooks, countable or uncountable? Countable, teacher. Countable, great. Let's see who is here. Karen, trees, countable or uncountable? Uh, countable. Mm -hmm. Edwin, rice. Rice countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, good. Anna, books. Books are countable or uncountable? Countable. Okay. Countable, yes. Luis Edgardo, what about paper? Uh, I countable. Uncountable, yes. Eh, Luis Mauricio, water. Uncountable, teacher. Noé, snow. Uncountable, teacher. Uncountable, great, great. Let's see Carolina, traffic. Traffic, countable or uncountable, Carolina? Traffic. Carolina. Are you with me? Okay, Jose Alfredo. Traffic. Countable or uncountable? 
Traffic. Is traffic countable? Do I say how much traffic or how many traffic? Hmm? How many? How many traffic? Okay, so you can say how many cars? How many cars are there? How many buses, right? How many bicycles? But traffic is the, what puts everything in a team or in what traffic is how much un mm -hmm. uncountable yes this is uncountable what about coffee karen uh, uncountable okay yeah Uh -huh. Let's put the ones we already did. Okay, coffee, you said uncountable, right? Okay, sugar, David? Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Uncountable, great. What about air? Let's see, Marina, air. Air uncountable. Uncountable, yes. Luis Edgardo, homework. Homework, countable or uncountable? Uh, uncountable. Uncountable. How much? How much homework? Right. You don't say how many homeworks. No, homework doesn't have a plural. So you say how much homework. How much, how much homework do you okay. have? Oh, I have a lot, right? Or oh, how many homework okay. assignments? The assignments are plural, but the word homework is singular. Luis Mauricio, okay. oil. Oil. Un uncountable, bitch. Uncountable, yeah. Carla, furniture. Uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. You know, furniture, in furniture, you have sofas, uh, couches, the tables, the chairs, all those things are, are furniture. But you can count the tables, you can count the chairs, you can count the sofas, but not the word furniture. Right? It's similar to money. When you count money, well, you cannot count money, right? You count the bills. You count the bills. You can count the coins, the dollars, the euros, the, the pounds, but no money. So you say how much money, not how many money, right? Okay, birds. What about birds? Mm -hmm. Birds, countable or uncountable? Countable. Right? Okay, countable. We can count the birds, the tweets, pencils. What about pencils? Countable. 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 Milk? Uncountable. Uncountable. I hear uncountable. We are going to, to add money. that is uncountable and also time, right? Time is uncountable. So you say how much time? How much time do you spend studying English? Hmm? How much time do you spend studying English? Two hours, one hour? One hour and a half, 30 minutes, okay? How much time? So we, we cannot count the time. We count the hours, we count 
the minutes. Any question here? Questions? No questions. No question, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's move here. Here we have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Tell me, one of you will be Aaron. I'm going to divide you boys and girls, right? So we practice the, pron the pronunciation. <laughs> So we have Aaron and Sam, Aaron and Sam. Okay, let's repeat. The new material just arrived in the morning. Repeat. The new material just arrived in the morning. 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 Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does he have where to store the boxes? Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. He and Ivan have to serve the, the warehouse. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Okay, but they there are, are many, many boxes. boxes. Can they use the lift? Can, Can use the lift? they use the lift? Can I use the lift? Can use I then the use, the, use the, lift? the lift? They have to use the lift. 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 That Ask until the secretary first. But ask until the secretary first. And they tell the secretary, secretary field first. She's going to say they can use it. She's going, going to, to, to say let's they can use say it. They can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. And they going to tell they have to do. To do. Okay, one more time. The new material just arrived in the morning. The new material just arrived in the morning. The new material. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max that he has to has store, to store everything. everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does he have, 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 have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Okay, okay. but there are, are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask until the secretary first. They have, they have to, to use, use the, lift. the lift. 
But but ask ask until the secretary fears. She's going to say they can use it. She's going to she say they can use, use it. Say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and I, man, what they have to do. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. <laughs> okay. Now, all boys are going to be Aaron. Okay. And all girls are going to be Sam. Ready? Yes. Yes, yes ready. <laughs> but I have a question. Tell me, Anna. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why in some answer, where does he have to store the boxes? Why not? Ah, uh, because the auxiliary does. Ah, uh, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a question, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. As you have the, the auxiliary, we use have. In this case, because this is an affirmative sentence, so it has no, no auxiliary, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, good, good, good. Okay, ready? Boys, you're Aaron. Girls, you are Sam. Okay, the new material just arrived in the morning. The new material, the new material just material arrived in the, the morning. in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Yeah. Yeah. The um, Max has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Where, where, where does he have, have to store, store the, boxes? the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. He and Ivan have to store them, he and Ivan in, the store store them in the warehouse. In the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Okay, okay. Yeah, there, are, there, are, there are, are many boxes. Can they, they use, use the lift? The lift? They have to use the lift, but ask until the secretary first. They have, they have to they use, use the lift, lift but ask until the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, now we're going to switch roles, right? Boys, you're going to be Sam, and girls, you're going to be Aaron. Okay? Let's see. The new material okay. just arrived in the morning. The new material, the new material, material is right in, in the morning. morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does do they have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Okay, okay. but there are, are many, many boxes. boxes. Can they use, Can the they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask them, ask until the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Going to say it's going to say they can use it. Can use then it. I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Then I'm, I'm going, going to tell, tell Max and Ivan what, what they have to do. Okay. Um, now I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go practice the conversation. Okay, I'm going to give you okay, about three minutes for you to practice and then I'm going to change you partner. Okay, so for that, go to your manual, page 11. Manual page 11. Ready? Go to your manual, yes. page 11. Ready. Ready, nice. Let's see. 
Uy, where is my mouse? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm going to make seven groups. There we go. Ready, ready, try to join. Grace, okay, perfect. Grace, Grace, try, try to join. Try to join room number two. Sí. Hola, teacher. Hello. No nos deja compartir. Carolina todavía va de camino, entonces quería compartirle el diálogo. Para okay. presentar. Yo voy a pasar. Se me quedó. Aquí está. Grace se unió, pero no sé qué se me hizo su compañera. Teacher, a mí me pusieron de oyente, no sé por qué. ¿Mm? A mí me pusieron de oyente. Ajá, bien raro, a mí me extrañó verlo de oyente. Sí, no sé por qué. En la próxima va a estar ya cabalito. <risa> ok, vamos a ver. Me avisa si está viendo, Carolina. Sí, sí, me parece. Va, si gusta, comienzo. Hola. Hello, teacher. Hello. Sorry, eh, se me cayó el inter. Y su estoy volviendo a conectar. Su compañerito. Creo que es Grace. Ah, va caminando. Dice. Va en camino. A casa, ok. Y vamos a practicar el vocabulario. Vaya, uh -huh. espérenme, me lo voy a llevar para que eh, David está en la misma situación. Porque Carolina va de camino también. Entonces lo voy a poner a los cuatro. Para que usted lea con David y que Carolina y Grace los escuchen. Okay. Ah, ahí está. Okay. Ya. Hello, hello, David. Hello, hello. Vaya, hello. como allí veo que me están teniendo problemas porque eh, las chicas van de camino. Entonces, okay. usted practique con Luis Edgardo, David, y que Grace y Carolina los escuchen. Ok, listo, no hay problema. Bye. Ok, si gustas, eh, Luis, eh, comienzo yo y soy Aaron esta vez, entonces rezamos. Ok, perfecto. No sé si estás viendo el diálogo. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Yo lo tengo acá también, no hay problema. Va. Listo, comienzo. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to sort everything. Where eh, does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to sort them in the warehouse. 
Okay, but where are many boxes? Can the user they fit? They have to use the lift, but ask and the and tell the secretary first. She is I go going to the safe they can you say it? They I going into the I store in these sentences, tell Max that he has to store everything. Como, como guarda, no es guardar. Sí, mi amor. Ayer escuché que store es también como almacenar. No, no es esa, pero me estoy confundiendo de palabra. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Ajá. Where does he have to store bo the boxes? Donde, ajá, donde las va a almacenar. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. También busqué warehouse y no le había hallado todavía el, el significado. Warehouse. Warehouse. Meaning in Spanish. In Spanish. Warehouse es la, la, la Depósito, dice. Ajá. Bodega. La bodega. La ah, bodega, bodega donde se guarda todo. Warehouse. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, vaya. Y de ahí, de many boxes, they use the lift. ¿Y what is the lift? Ajá, uh -huh, lift. Esa tengo duda yo. Meaning, mean uh -huh. meaning in Spanish. Wait, wait, wait. When in Spanish. Elevar. The lift. Eh, ah, se han podemos fijado, el elevador. Se han fijado que en los principalmente en los locales grandes donde me mueven muchas cosas pesadas que ocupan una maquinaria que suben las cosas aquí y esa maquinaria las va subiendo ¿Sí? para ponerlas más arriba donde las tienen que poner, ese es el lift ah, okay. para nosotros sería como esquivar, ¿verdad? no, ¿cuál? no, no, no o sea, no. en español más o menos la traducción podría ser es esquivar, poner sobre no, no, no. Eh, eh, el lift es esa máquina. No, de, de, es esa ah, máquina. la máquina. Ajá, es la máquina donde usted está bajita, ¿verdad? Entonces usted Ajá. pone aquí todas las cajas que va a subir y ya, la, ya tiene la máquina su botoncito para... Ya sube y ya usted no. pone las cosas donde tiene que subirlas. Sí, mire lo que sale en... Espérenme aquí en la cosa. Salen estas cosas... No, pero ese es como... El del teleférico sale aquí, teacher. Ah, pero es que vaya. El lift también es un elevador. Por ejemplo, el elevator también uh -huh. se dice lift en inglés británico. Uh -huh. Ah, por eso es que le aparece eso. Uh -huh. También es, es, un, es un elevador. Y lo que dice, eh, now as a noun, ascensor elevador, but as a verb, levantar, elevar. Levantar y elevar, exactly. Pero en este caso, por el contexto, se refiere a esa maquinaria que le digo, que es para levantar cosas pesadas en las tiendas. Ok. Y en las bodegas también, porque esto lo van a guardar en la bodega, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. son cosas muy pesadas. Ok, so, para un lift. entonces warehouse es la bodega, el lift es la máquina y store que dijimos que era store, store es un verbo o un noun dependiendo, por ejemplo mm -hmm. donde usted va a comprar es un store, verdad mm -hmm. es el noun, pero wow. store también significa guardar. Ajá. Guardar, eso es store. store. Guardar. En ese caso sería, se está ocupando como verbo, ¿verdad? Exactly. Sí. Exactly. Ok. Practicamos una vez más. Vaya. ¿Quiere ser Aaron o Sam? Aaron. Ok. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. In the morning. 
Tell Mac that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are boxes and they use the leaf. They have to use the leaf, but as and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use them. I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. The new material yeah. just arrived in the morning. Tell Max. <laughs> Estaba muy equivocada en la traducción. We finished, teacher. We finished. Ok, perfect. Perfect. I'm going to take you then back. Okay, ready. Can I have a couple of volunteers? Just let's give a second for everybody to come back. Mm -hmm. We have 10 people. You can do it if you want a teacher. Okay, great, Anna. And Rosie, nice. right? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Who is going to be the the corner? Uh, repeat, please. No, excuse me. Are you Sam or uh, or Aaron? Okay. Uh, I Aaron. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say that can they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, very good. Thank you, Anna. Choose a victim. It could be... We have here uh, Mr. Edwin Muñoz. Okay, Edwin. Edwin, Edwin. Yeah, he's here. Edwin, who was your partner? With me, Luis. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay, perfect. Go ahead, you decide who's who. Okay, you start or start me? Just start. Okay, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max to the, has to store everything. Where does he have to, to store the boxes? He had an Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, great, great. Okay, Luis, I know you want to choose the next one, right? The victim. <laughs> the victim. Voluntary or victim? 
Ok. <laughs> <laughs> ok, I choose a... Alexandra. <laughs> I see, I, I see. Imagine. I imagine. I say, I imagine. <laughs> o Isabel o Alexandra, I said. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay, ya vi que anda capturando a su víctima, malo. <laughs> okay, Isabel. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> no, si, si capturó bien Fue a, a propósito, su Luis. <laughs> yeah, because I said Luis. Okay. Choose o Isabel o Judy. Uh -huh. But immediately it was for both, right? <laughs> okay, yes. great. Okay. Right here. Okay, uh, comienzo yo. Perfecto. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Mark that he has to store everything. Whereas he has to start the boxes. He and Ivan had to start them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they you see in the leaf? They had to use the leaf, but as them tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can you see it? Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to, to do. What they have to do. Very good. Okay, uh, Judy, choose the last victim. Okay, vamos a ver. Uh, victim. Um, Marina. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yo estuve en un grupo solita, me salí, después me incorporé y estuve en otro y me salí. No yes. sé quién quiere, <laughs> quién quiere leer conmigo. Choose, let's see, choose another big, Karen, can be, can read with you. Okay, Karen. Hi. Okay. Hi. I am around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that the that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Uh, he and Ivan have to store the in the warehouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. But there are many boxes. Can they use the list? They have to use the list, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use, can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Evan what they have to do. Okay. Okay, great, great. Okay, now. Let's move to the next slide. Check. This is the structure. I have two. When do we use this structure? Have to. I have to. I don't have to. Who can tell me? When do we use this structure? Mm hmm. When do we use I have to and I don't have to? Affirmaciones, I have to. Y para negaciones, I don't have. Okay. So you have, you use in affirmative, you use I have to. In negative, I don't have to, right? And here we're talking about obligation. Obligation. So you say, I have to store, I have to store uh, 
these packages. They have to take everything to the warehouse. We have to ask for permission. The truck driver has to bring the material. The truck driver has to bring the material. He has to use the lift. He has to use the lift. So check, I have to, right? I have to, responsibility, right? I have to, there is no way, I have to. I have to store these packages. They have to take everything to the warehouse. We have to ask for permission. The truck driver has to bring the material. Check, if you're talking about the third person singular, we are going to use has, right? He has, she has, the driver has, right? But if we are talking about I, you, we, and they, we are going to use have to. I have to. What do you have to do? What do you have to do? ¿Qué tienes tú, teacher? Uh -huh. ¿Qué tiene que hacer? Ah, ¿qué, ¿Qué tiene, tiene que hacer? Que hacer? Okay. Ana, recuéstese. Oye. Recuéstese y solo escúchenos. No se preocupe. Ok. Um, we have to. We have to means we have the responsibility. There is a responsibility, right? So we have to ask for permission. The truck driver has to bring the material. The truck driver has to bring the material. Who has the obligation? The truck driver. But check. For example, here, uh, in this class, we have some responsibilities, right? So you say, well, we have to attend classes. We have to complete the platform. That's part of obligation. But there are some things that are not obligation, right? So you say, I don't have to, I don't have to store. Let me put it here. I don't have to store the packages. Is it necessary? No. Is it mandatory? No, right? Because I don't have to store the packages. They don't have to take everything to the warehouse. They don't have to, it's not necessary. We don't have to ask for permission. And there is a terrible mistake here. Ayúdenme a hacer la corrección acá. Can I say the truck driver doesn't have to? Is that possible? Probably uh, have can to. I, can I say that? Don't have to. But eso sí sería they. They don't have to or I don't have to. Pero si yeah. yo voy a decir the truck driver es similar to say he. Yeah. She, si es una mujer. Yeah. Is that no. correct? The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. What do you think? I think so. The truck, eh, eh, sería eh, it, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No. 
Vico, eh, tendría que usar have to porque creería yo que ya estamos utilizando el, el auxiliar does. Exacto. Uh -huh. Era lo que estaba eh, comentando la compañera hace un momento. Sí. Aquí seguramente copiaron y pegaron y se les... Vea. Al copiar la oración de aquí y pegarla en el otro, solo le cambiaron el, el dasen, pero no le cambiaron esto. Esto no es posible bajo ninguna circunstancia. So you say, dasen hapto. Yes. The truck driver doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. Porque como comentaba Luis, si ya tenemos la S, ya se le pone al auxiliar, ¿verdad? Para la tercera persona. Entonces yo voy a usar have, no has. ¿Ok? So he doesn't have to use the lift. Does he have to use the lift? No, he doesn't have to use the lift. Check here. We use have to to express obligation. So if something is necessary in the present or future, right? If something is necessary, I use have to. Yeah, that is to express obligation. I check these sentences. The boys, plural, have to study hard. Pero si solo es uno, the boy has to study hard, right? Or the boy has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. Now, let's make uh, some more sentences here. Vamos a ver. No. Okay. Let's make a more sentences. Tell me. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Pedro. Pedro. Have or has? Has. 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 has to wash. Has to. Okay. Pedro has to wash the car. Okay. The children have or has? Have to. Have to. Have to. Yeah. The children have to do the homework yes okay now you give me a sentence and i write it teacher and the children um, llevaría ese no. no porque singular is child y plural is ah, children exactly so <laughs> I forget. <laughs> uh -huh. So you have child. Mm -hmm. Child is singular y children is plural. Cuando ustedes lo, vi, lo ven ahí con ese que dice children es porque están usando el possessive. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. The sure. children house, la casa de los niños. Right? Okay. Give me another example. Yes. 
A ver, a ver, con confianza, un ejemplo. Eh, John has to work all day. John has to work all day. Nice. ¿Y qué tiene que hacer John? He has to... ¿Qué tiene que hacer? Mm -hmm. Wake up early. He has to wake up early. Ok. Perfect. He has to wake up early. They have... Um, they have a study and work every day. They have to study and work every day. Not easy, right? No. <laughs> not easy. I know it's not easy. Okay. Great, great, great. Now, let's move to the next slide. So you say, Pedro has to wash the car. Pedro has to wash the car. The children have to do the homework. The children. Vamos a buscar. Aquí. Remember, has to. Tercera persona. Have to. Has to. And he has to. And they have to. Any question there? Question. No question. No question. I think. <laughs> I think. <so. laughs> okay. 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 No <laughs> Ahora, ¿qué pasa en negative? Well, aquí este es como para secundar la structure, right? Remember, I have to, you have to, we have to, y they have to, ¿verdad? Pero... She has to, he has to, and it has to. Easy. Yes. Easy, right? Piece of cake. <laughs> Piece of cake. She has to brush her teeth every day. Now, look at this. Cuando usamos don't have to. Cuando. A ver, donde anda mi mouse. Me pierde. Aquí está. Cuando usamos don't have to. To express the absence. ¿Qué significa mm. absence? ¿Qué significa absence? Creería yo que es así como. Ausencia. 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 Right. To express the absence of obligation. So, no obligation, right? No obligation. When something is not necessary to do. Por ejemplo, si decimos de ustedes, you don't have to wear a uniform for this class, right? You don't have to wear a uniform. You have to be in class. You have to work the platform that you don't have to wear a uniform you don't have to prepare the class right i have to prepare the class not you right you have to speak you have to participate but you don't have to sing in class it's not necessary right it's not necessary that you sing lo, 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 lo. Ah, that would be nice <laughs> but it's not necessary that you sing in class, right? It's not obligation, but it's obligation that you speak. Okay, now check. Vamos a ver, creo que. Hmm. Attendance, and then we continue here. A ver. Antes de que se me olvide. Be 
Ana Alicia. Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin. Edwin, Edwin. Present teacher. Nice. Grace Michelle. Grace. Present teacher. Nice, Grace. Isabel. Isabel. Present. Okay. Present. Hoy sí, hoy sí, ya lo oí. Eh, José Alfredo. Present teacher. Nice. Juan José. No hear Juan José. Quiero ver. Ok. Eh, Karen. Deja el teacher. Nice, Karen. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Teresa de Jesús. No está Teresa de Jesús. Yo la vi que entró. Sí, entró un momento, parece. Y... Ajá. Qué raro. Aquí está. Eh, Yuri Alexandra. Present teacher. Y David Alexander. Present teacher. Ok, perfecto. Vaya, ahí estamos. Ok, perfecto. Vaya, hoy sí, hoy sí, we will continue here. So remember, we said we use don't have to to express absence of obligation. So it's not obligation, right? It's not necessary. I don't have to wear a uniform. I don't have to go to school to teach you, right? You don't have to go to school to learn English either. You can do it from home, right? It's not obligation to go to the institution to receive the classes, right? It's not obligation. It's not necessary. Okay. Now. Check. The children, as we say, don't have to. They don't. They don't have to go to school today. It's Saturday. It's not necessary. It's not obligation, right? It's not obligation for the children to go to school today. She doesn't have to eat. Okay, she doesn't have to eat. Now, 
let's see, give me examples, please. I'm going to move this a little bit. Okay. A ver. Give me more examples. What things you don't have to do at work? What type of things you don't have to do? It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I think. Uh... Uh -huh. What don't you have to do? For example, what I was telling you. I don't have to, I don't have to wear a uniform at work. For me, it's not obligation, right? I don't have to wear a uniform. Let's make it, okay, good. Uh-huh, so I don't have to wear a uniform. What about you? What is something that you don't have to do because it's not necessary? Mm -hmm. um, I don't have to. Uh, um, what do you say? Uh, Revisar. Check. Check, okay. I don't have to check the, the email. I don't have to check emails. Hmm? I don't have to check emails during the class. Hmm. But check. <laughs> uh, don't take it like prohibition. Porque don't have to no es prohibition, sino que no es necesario, yeah. right? Ah, uh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in español, in español, we say, no. <laughs> <laughs> we say, sí, que es uno raro eso, de español. Sí. No, in Spanish, no, el español sonido raro. In Spanish, we say, <laughs> yo tengo que, right? And it's obligation. Pero no, yo no tengo que, o sea, no tengo la obligación. Uh -huh. Pero también se usa como prohibición. No tenés uh -huh. que, right? But in uh -huh. English, no. In English, when you use, you don't have to, don't have to, is lack of obligation. O sea, no es obligación. Si usted lo que quiere decir es una prohibición, En ese caso dice, you can't, no puede, uh -huh. right? You can't, uh -huh. you can't yes. do it. You can't check in during class. Uh -huh. No, no puede, no debe, right? Yeah. But eh, el you don't have to, es así como que, y yo tengo que revisar emails en clase. No, no tiene que, o sea, no es obligación, right? It's not necessary. And it's not mandatory. Yeah? Okay. For example, imagine. Do you have to attend meetings in your work? Do you have uh, to attend meetings? Yeah. <laughs> so in ese caso, usted no puede decir, I don't have to attend meetings. ¿Cómo uh -huh. no? Pero puede hacer que usted diga, mm, I don't have to attend meetings on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Right? Sí, I right. have to attend meetings, pero no el domingo. Mm -hmm. On Sundays, no. Right? I have to attend meetings during the week, okay. but I don't have to attend meetings on Sunday. Okay. Tell me, I tell me something. <laughs> tell me something that your boss has to do. Your boss is a man or a woman? Woman. A woman. Uh, sí, is, is, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> In this class, it's Rosie. <laughs> but 
but <laughs> in the real, <laughs> it's a man, it's okay. Ricardo. <laughs> okay, so you say, my boss has to, well, doesn't have to, um, or don't have to. Has to. Negative. Tell me something your boss doesn't have to do. That's it. Uh -huh. Something that is not necessary for your boss to do. Mm -hmm. But it's not necessary. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't remember. <laughs> My boss doesn't have to. She doesn't have to, okay, to, 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 to clean the office. Huh? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no va a mandar a la jefa a limpiar. <laughs> yeah. My boss doesn't have to clean the office. Uy, mire. My boss doesn't have to clean the office. So it's not obligation for her. She has yeah. many things to do, but no mm -hmm. clean the office. Okay. Yes. Y recuerde, mm -hmm. doesn't have to. She yeah. doesn't have to. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have to. Thank you. He doesn't have to. Yes, the auxiliary. <laughs> Uy, qué chistoso to cortado. Ve. Bye, ahí está. <laughs> no sé por qué se iba poniendo to cortado y iba escribiendo la oración de completa ya. Bye. Ok, repeat after me. The children don't have to go to school today. The children, the children don't, don't have, have to go to school today. They don't have to go to school today. Don't have to go to school today. The children don't have to go to school today. To go to to go to school it's today. Saturday, right? It's Saturday. It's Saturday. She doesn't have it's to eat Saturday. all the fruits. She doesn't have to eat all the fruits. She doesn't have to eat all the fruits. I don't have to wear a uniform at work. I don't, I don't have, have to wear a uniform to the work. I don't have to wear a uniform at work. I don't, I don't have, to have to wear a uniform, wear a uniform, uniform at, at work. I don't have to check emails. I don't, I don't have, have to check emails. I don't have to check emails. I don't have to check email. I don't have to attend meetings on Sunday. I don't have, I don't have to attend meetings on Sunday. I don't have to attend meetings on Sunday. I don't have to attend meetings on Sunday. My boss doesn't have to clean the office. My, my boss doesn't have to clean the office. 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 Okay, and check the structure. I, you, we, they, we don't. Don't and she, he, it doesn't, right? But don't have it, doesn't have to. Okay, any question? Any question? No questions? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. No question. 
no question. <laughs> Now we will go to the to the book to the manual page eleven and check this right. You have to choose the correct option. Y dale con el mismo error que bárbaro el que hizo esto. I understand. I understand. No fui yo la que hizo el manual. Qué bárbaro. Number page, please. Eleven. Page 11, espérenme que esto da vergüenza. Espérenme. Vamos a tachar el... Por eso me equivoqué en la oración. Tan <risa> <risa> excusa. <risa> ya le enseñé yo cómo era. Vaya. <risa> ah, espérense. Vaya, pues aquí están perdonados, fíjense, porque aquí es para que ustedes se equivoquen de verdad. Ajá. Ah, vaya, ah, vaya, 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 vaya. Sí, porque aquí tiene que escoger entre das en half y da. Ya estoy peleando por gusto. <risa> Vaya, es que ya me quedo así como que qué, no es posible. Vaya, check it. So you have to decide between Sam doesn't have to y Sam doesn't has to help. Hasta duele la garganta decir eso. Vaya, y como ustedes ya saben, también, ¿verdad? Ya le va a decir como que qué. It's not possible. <laughs> okay. Choose the correct option. And then tell me about you, right? Okay. And the first one, I think uh, Max and Ivan have two store boxes. Have two or has two? Have. Have, have to. Have to. Also. Have to, right? Because we have two people. Nice. Max and Ivan have to store boxes. Pubichitos, they have to store boxes. No way. No way to escape. No. <laughs> a ver, a ver, a ver. <laughs> no way to escape. They have to. It's obligation. Okay. What about number okay. two? Aaron doesn't, doesn't have, have to, to or has to help store have the books. To. Has to, right? Has to. Yeah. Who, will, who will store the boxes? Who will store the boxes? and the warehouse no pero who, ah. who? <laughs> no way who? who will store the boxes Ivan and Max Ivan and Max Aaron has to help store the boxes or doesn't have to help store the boxes doesn't have to Doesn't have to, ni siquiera le va a decir él. Mandó a Sama que le diga. Right? Exactly. No va a estar ni cerca. So Aaron doesn't have to, doesn't have to help for the boxes. Uy, dice circo, qué barbaridad, Pérez. Como dice circo. Okay, Aaron doesn't have to help store the boxes. What about number three? Sam doesn't have to. Doesn't have to or doesn't have to? Have. Doesn't have, have to. to. Mm -hmm. have to. Doesn't have to. Sam doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Remember, ¿verdad? Que, que aquí que casi que nos da para que ver. Doesn't have to. So, no. Sam doesn't have to. Right? Doesn't have to. That's the correct thing. As the S is in the auxiliary, we use have here. According to this. Yes? But. 
What about number four? The secretary have to have has has to has to, has to. Has to. Has to say it. Uh huh. Has to because the secretary is she. Right. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. The secretary has to. The to secretary say. has to say that they yes. can use the lift. <laughs> yeah. it has to say. Okay. Now, what about you? You're going to tell me what you have to do in your workplace. Write <coughs> five things. You can write three things that you have to do and two things that other people in your workplace have to do. Okay? Write three things you have to do and two things other people in your workplace have to do. For example, if I say, well, I have to prepare presentations that my boss has to supervise that we are all working correctly, yeah? I have to, I have to check the lesson plan that my co-workers have to do their own job, right? And I have to, hmm, I have to check the platform and you have to complete it, yes? Okay, so go ahead, tell me, write the things, right? I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go share with your partners the things that you have to do and the things that other people in your workplace have to do. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to give you three minutes for you to write and then I'm going to send you to the room. At exactly 9.25, I'm going to send you to the room for you to go chair. Okay? Okay, teacher. Go ahead. How many sentences? Five. Five. Three about you and the other two about other colleagues. Okay. Sorry, teacher, eh, tengo problemas con la conexión y se me desconecta. Este, okay. ¿Qué vamos a realizar? Right now, what you're doing is writing about you. Three things that you have to do in your workplace and two things that other colleagues have to do in the workplace. Ok. Cinco cosas que hago en mi trabajo, ¿verdad? No, no que hace, que tiene que hacer. Right, because okay. it's that they have obligation for you. Ok, ok. Uy, niño, ¿y por qué me quedaron todos sin cámara? Porque yo porque me salgo, teacher, para poder 
verde. Igual yo, teacher, cuando busco el manual, como lo tengo en el teléfono, se me cierra la cámara. Oh. Ok. Ay, me avisan cuando estén listos para mandarlos. Ok, teacher. Ready, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, everybody ready? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. I am ready, teacher. <clears throat> nice, nice. There we go. I'm going to send you for about five minutes and then I bring you back. There you go. You are in groups three now. A ver, eh, José Alfredo. Ok, perfecto. Hello, hello. Hello. The great Michelle is listening. <laughs> ok, my, my first sentence is, uh, I have to respond the phone. 
My second is okay. uh, to clean the storage. And I have to put it on, put it order, sorry, and the refrigerator. <laughs> okay, the refrigerator. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, is 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 correctly teacher or the refrigerator? Uh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the sentence is correct or I have a mistake. And what do the others have to do? Uh, send send emails and report. Uh -huh. And clean the the the, the pharmacy or pharmacy. And um, I check um check the 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 date uh, for the medicines okay yeah perfect okay thank you thank you luis now let's listen to the others to the isabel <laughs> my my <laughs> sentence <laughs> Fourth. Okay. I have I have to wear a uniform. I have to go to buy something. I have to make lady. Only. Uh, repeat the first. I have I have to make report. Ah, okay. Okay. Make. Carla has to make reports. Ajá, podemos poner Carla have to o sería she has to make. Ajá, ¿Sí? pero como para referirnos a los que hemos estado en el grupo. Ah, okay. Sería yes. bueno poner el nombre. Carla has okay. to make make the report. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. Make report. And she, she has to wear uniform, no? Yes. yes. Okay. In my case, hey, uh, <laughs> I have to check missing the products. I have to buy the products and I have to check the bills. Uh, the bills? Uh, first, Maria, I have to check missing the product, faltante de producto. Missing? Missing como se escucha. Ajá, uh -huh. missing. Pero esa tengo duda si, así, si esa palabra sería. I have to se lo puede escribir. So how do you say? <laughs> M I uh -huh. S S uh -huh. I N G. Ah, missing. Missing the products. Products. Okay. And Next, the I have to buy the products. To buy the product. Yes, okay. En este caso sería she has to uh -huh. to buy o solo she has to buy. Tengo duda. She has, she has to buy. She has to buy the product. Okay. The product. She has to buy. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, en una respuesta, I have to check missing the product. Eh, quise decir, eh, yo tengo que revisar faltantes de producto. Esa sería la palabra, missing. The missing products. Okay. I have to check the missing products. Eh, no es necesario de products, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, perdón, me estoy poniendo de más. Ajá, the missing products. The missing products. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Teacher, era así, ¿verdad? Yo he dicho tres cosas que yo tengo que hacer. E igual, ellas nos han dicho dos cosas que hacen. En este caso, Karen has to send report. She has to attend calls. And Carla has to make report. And she has to wear uniform. Okay, great. Ajá, uh -huh. three about you and two about other people. Mm -hmm. Is wear a uniform or wear uniform? To wear a uniform. Uh, to wear, a uniform. wear a uniform. Do you have to wear a uniform, Carla? Yes. Okay. okay. But only the blouse, the camisa. And black pants. Yes. Or jeans. Well, anything but. Uh, it doesn't matter, but the, just the, the shirt. Yes, it's a sure. it's a polo shirt or a blouse, Carla. Uh, mm, es camisa manga larga. Oh, okay. Como uh, para el sol. Okay, 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 okay. Good, good, good. Las dejo por aquí. You finish, right? Authoris, authoris. Yeah. Did you finish? No. Casi, <laughs> teacher. Okay. Solo que tengo una consulta mm -hmm. aquí con, con una que no sé si está bien redactada. I have to service customers. Lo que trato de decir es yo tengo que brindar servicio a los clientes. I have to attend. I put a uh, ten. I have to ten. attend customers. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I have to attend customers. Okay, okay I'm going to call you in a while. Ok, vamos a ver, todavía faltan. Me faltan Yuri, Noé y David. Ahí está. Ok. Any questions? Any questions about the exercise you were doing? No questions. Probably no question. Okay. <laughs> now look at this. Complete the sentences. Remember, you're going to use the correct form of have to. Right? Use the correct form of have to. To. So you say the company has to or have to buy new materials, right? The company has to. Have to. I think have, have to. Por qué? Because the company is days. The company is day? Associate. <laughs> It's a very, very much people. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, this is a, a case like when you say the team, the team has, 
Ah, okay. The team has. The company has. Uh, even you are including the band. The band has to sing, right? You are talking about a group of people, but the word is singular, right? So you say the company has, has to has to buy the new material. To buy. The company has to has to buy the company has to buy new material. What about your partners? Have to we. Uh, a ver, a ver, a ver qué vamos a insertar. Me está regañando Zoom. Ya vieron, vea. Que aleje la ventana. <ríe> <ríe> que aleje la ventana. Que aleje la ventana que estoy compartiendo. ¿Qué estoy compartiendo? La paginita. Bye. Check. So you say your partners have to or has to? Have, have to. to. Have to. Allí sí, miren. Porque es plural. Right? So you okay. say your partners. Vamos a hacerlo más grande. Your partners. Nombre con capital letters, no. Your partners have to qué? Uh, pile up. Pile up. What is, what is pile up? Pile up es, por ejemplo, cuando, imagínense que yo tengo aquí mi taza y tengo el vaso. Lo pongo acá Pilar. y tengo otra cosa y la pongo encima y otra. Ah, más. ok, Pilar. ok. Uh -huh. That's pile. Pile up. Apilars. Apilar. Sí, oh. <laughs> ah, so pile up. The, your partners have to pile up containers. Mm -hmm. Containers, ok. And what about the agents? The agents have to don't have to. Have to. Don't have to. Negative. Don't right? do, uh, don't, don't, don't have, have to. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to okay. Sign. 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 The letter. Uh huh. The agents don't have to sign the letters. Yes? Yes. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Ahí no sería not signed. No, porque usted está usando la forma correcta de don't have to. Ah, ok. Ajá. Como el negative es, en afirmative es have, have to o has to, right? In negative sería don't have to. O doesn't don't. have to. Okay. Y en este caso, como es the agents, the agents don't have to sign. Pero the agent, solo uno, doesn't have to sign. Mm -hmm. I don't have to sign the letters, right? Luis has okay. to sign the letters. Mm -hmm. So en negative, siempre que nos aparezca así en negative, tenemos que usar el auxiliar. Don't or doesn't, ¿verdad? Dependiendo de la situación. Ok, what about this one? Mr. Bonilla. Okay. Has to. Has to uh -huh. design a model. Have to. Has to design a new model. Yeah. So. 
Mr. Bonilla has to design a new model. And number five. The group doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Work until late. To work until late. The group doesn't have to work until late. Yes. The group is singular. Oyen, igual que the company, es singular. Aunque el, the group es el grupo. Pero verdad que decimos el grupo tiene. Tiene que. No, el grupo tienen que. So in English and in Spanish, el grupo es singular. Igual company, la compañía tiene que, no tienen que, aunque sea un grupo de personas. Entonces, en inglés y en español, eh, estas dos palabras son singulares. Ok, vámonos pues al otro exercise. Aquí, that's your turn to be creative. You're going to create a conversation with a partner. Yo creo que hoy sí ya todos están en la casa, ¿verdad? Ya llegaron de trabajar. Sí, todos, todos, muy bien. But create a conversation with a partner. Imagine one of you is, the, is new there. O sea, está en la company, pero uno es nuevo. ¿Ok? Y como es nuevo, no sabe qué tiene que hacer. So, you have to give instructions about how some things have to be done. ¿Sí? Y aquí tienen el modelito, ¿verdad? So, you say, hello, Marina. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Says Marina, sí, con miedo, ¿verdad? <laughs> Porque está no evitando le da miedo. Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to check the emails. Okay. Where do I have to check the emails? Hmm. Well, you have to check the emails in the computer over there. Then you have to make calls. Or you have to call uh, clients. You will find the list on the table. Is somebody else going to help me? She can say, right? No, you will do it alone. And, there, and next, you have to open the office of your boss and clean the desk. Okay. Ahí les estoy dando un ejemplo, pero ustedes lo completan como mejor les convenga. Any questions? No questions. No questions, no questions. Hagan la respectiva captura. Probably no questions. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Okay, make the capture, right? Because right now I'm going to send you to the groups. Are you ready? Yes. Ready, ready? Yes, teacher. Bye. Yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Qué lo molesto. Pues sí, sí. Están haciendo mi captura, por eso no. Oh, <ríe> no oh. Puedo... ya estuvo, Luis. Sí, va, yeah. muy bien. Thank you, teacher. Ya, pues son, voy a hacer siete grupos. Hoy sí voy a hacer siete grupos porque los voy a mandar en parejas. Allá van. Va. Ahí está. Ready. Ready, ready. Create your conversations and then be ready to cheer. Judy, Judy, muy bien.
Bueno, empezamos. Carolina. Ok. Con el diálogo. Seguimos así como estaba el inicio del ejemplo que nos puso la chica. Sí, así es. Ok. ¿Quién es quién? Si gusta, este, empiezo yo okay. eh, con la bienvenida. Bye. Hello, Carolina. Welcome. Ok, Lidia. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to open the office. In the cualquier lugar que esté por allí donde se pueda hacer la actividad que le acaba de asignar. In the desk, for example. In the desk, then you how to. Okay. 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 Sí. No. Carla. Carla. Creo que quizás a lo mejor. Bueno. Hello, teacher. Hi, hi. Estamos viendo cómo dialogamos. Ok. Eh, seguimos el mismo formato que me ponen el ejemplo de hello. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, you can continue with the same, with the same format. Ok. Te voy a compartir entonces, Grey. Sería esto. ¿Qué tan largo, teacher? No mucho, lo mucho tres actividades. Ok. ¿Junto con esta o inventamos otra? No, aquí pueden meterlas. Va. Uh -huh. Chévere, entonces lo vamos a poner. Ante y Grace. Ok. Va, hello. Ahí sería hello, Grace. Hi, how are you? Ja, casi lo que comenzamos a hablar. Te voy a venir. También al to chequear algún reporte. No, ese es el ejemplo que ya dio, ¿verdad? Check the report. O oh, share the emails. No, ah, no, check the emails es el ejemplo que ella dio. You have to supervise or no, supervisar. Supervisor. Mm. Ajá, podría, no. Natura, pero... Teníamos eso, con él se practicaba un poco mejor, en el sí. sentido que decía, no, nada de español. Nada de español. No, sí. Spanish. Are you? Sí. No. Estamos hablando de Aristides. Ah, yes. Se yes. nos ha perdido Aristides y Ángel. Ángel, tú. It's true. Uh -huh. Fears. Uh, vamos a ver aquí. Se perdieron varios. Ajá. ¿Sí? Varios, varios se perdieron. Deben de estar en otro grupo. A lo mejor. Probablemente. Uh -huh. Ajá. Vamos a ver. ¿Eh? First, you have, primero, you have to clean the computer. Vamos a ver. <risa> Have to clean in the computer. First, you. Okay. 
teacher. Ay, ay. No, 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 no lo miraba y yo, ¿y aquí quién está? <risa> <risa> ya le iba a preguntar, ¿y aquí quién está? No, estamos anotando la, la oh, conversación. No. El complemento. Están de anónimo ustedes. No, hombre. No. No se ve mi imagen. No. Sí. No me veo yo, teacher. ¿Mm? Tengo la cámara encendida. ¿Cómo van? Bien, al menos. Ya lo, lo último. Uh -huh. es, en, the, en el último, la última línea. En the, estaba diciéndole eso. ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde? Que, me, pues, ahí penúltima. puede, tiene dos opciones. Una puede decir, eh, ok, where, porque le preguntó ella dónde, ¿verdad? Where do sí. I have to, where do I have to keep the, the mops, por ejemplo? Ah, in the, in the bathroom. Entonces, este es un lugar, porque ella está preguntando a dónde. ¿A dónde mm. va a hacer algo? Entonces usted le responde dónde lo va a hacer. Ok. Ok, y... entonces respondí bien. In the bathroom. Vaya, van a tener un minuto y me lo llevo. Uy. Ok. Ready, Carla? Nice, nice. A ver, I want to listen to a volunteer. Well, a pair of volunteers. ¿Quiénes son mis volunteers? Luis Edgardo. ¿Con quién Luis Edgardo? Oh, con Karen. Con Karen. Ok, go ahead. Eh, ok, ahorita. Dame un momento, por favor. Sí, ¿verdad? Como que, ajá, sí, vos. <risa> Hello, Karen. You're welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have to the list of activity. I have to the first. Uh, you have to the checking in supermarket sales. Is you have to check in these important emails. Okay. Where do I have? I no quedamos. <laughs> Where do I have? In the supermarket. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, I llegamos. Okay, what do I have? Okay, perfect. Thank you, okay. chicos. One last group, volunteers. Volunteers, Carla. <laughs> sí, volunteers, Carla. Carla okay. Noé, right? Okay, go ahead. Who begins, Carla or Noé? No es. Okay, go ahead, Carla. You can begin. Hello, hello, Carla. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have heard the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to eat the breakfast. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Oh, where do I have to eat the breakfast? In the Pampa Argentina, then you have to. Mire que galán, catadora va a ir Carla. Good boss. 
Can you, how do you say viaticos? Viatics, the viatics. viatics. Mm -hmm. To take a viatics of company. I like that job, Noe. <laughs> to go have breakfast in La Pampa and then receive yes. the viatics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, let's see Anna Alicia here. Tell me present, that's the last present of the day. Carolina. Carolina. Hello, okay, Carolina, Edwin. Carolina, hoy le toca quedarse conmigo. Oye. Okay, teacher. Edwin. Edwin, Edwin, Edwin. Hi, hi. Present. Edwin, okay. ¿dónde está? Hola. No lo veo. Solo oigo los cohetes. <laughs> ¿Verdad que se oyen cohetes? Están celebrando sí. por ahí. Ahora. Ahí está. Muy bien. Hoy sí. Solo los cohetes oía yo. Grace Michelle. Grace. Grace, 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 Grace. No se me pierdan. Present, teacher. Present. Ok. Isabel. Present, teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Juan José. Hoy no vino Juan José. Karen Janet. Karen sí, 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 Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Presente, teacher. Noé David. Presente, teacher. Rosa Hilda. Presente, teacher. Teresa de Jesús. No, right, she couldn't make it. Yuri. Yuri Alexandra. Present, Ahí está. Y David. Presente, teacher. Okay. Okay, perfect. Bueno, that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Se queda conmigo. Carolina, ¿verdad? Sí, Carolina. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a nice night. Night, night. Bye-bye. Hello, Carolina. How are you? Fine. And me, do you have any questions? Okay, Por empezar el día de ayer no me pude conectar. Sé que no es pregunta, pero le comento porque ayer cumplí años, así es que no pude. Estaba celebrando. Sí. Que creo que no andaba muy muy perdida cuando empezó la clase porque era parte de lo que habíamos visto la vez pasada que era no que era contable con, con, sí. con lo que sí siento yo que se me olvida o todavía tengo problemas eh, eh, por lo menos las oraciones que estábamos viendo ahorita eh, yo he apuntado has tú es para singular ¿verdad? ajá exacto y has tú He has to, she has to. It has to. Por ejemplo, si va a usar un noun que sea singular, va a usar has to. ¿Verdad? Y si es plural, va a usar have to. They have to. O hay, es singular, pero con hay usamos have to, ¿verdad? I have to. Con las terceras personas, acuérdense. Terceras personas usamos has to. Con las terceras personas. He, she, it. Y que en este caso como the company, the school, es como decir it. 
¿verdad? The company has to open the doors early, right? The school has to be open. Entonces, usamos has to con, eh, con esos nombres, aunque suenen como que si fueran plurales, pero eso es singular. Sí, porque es lo mismo cuando me confunde el, el docent, docent, que también va para... Terceras personas, igual. The company doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to clean the office. Por ejemplo, she doesn't have to work late. She doesn't have to get up early. Le usamos doesn't, doesn't have to, y el verbo que va a ir en forma normal, ¿verdad? She doesn't have to go. She doesn't have to come. Igual, they don't have to go. They don't have to come. He doesn't have to study, right? He doesn't have to study. He doesn't have an exam. Entonces, siempre que vaya a tener la tercera persona va a ser doesn't, porque el auxiliar es el que se lleva la S, ¿verdad? El auxiliar doesn't y ya después el, el have va normal. Doesn't have to. Y eso significa eh, no prohibición, sino que significa que no hay obligación. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, si usted me dice, I don't have to wear a uniform at work. Eso significa que para usted no es obligatorio usar uniforme. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, creo que he tomado los apunte, solo falta repasarlo para que me quede. <risa> sí, que si lo voy a, asociando por lo menos. El día de ayer estuvimos viendo otro vocabulario en la página 9 ahí del manual, por ejemplo, size, dimensions, measure, que es eh, vocabulario nuevo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Ok, teacher, recuérdame cómo ¿Cómo saco el manual? Porque la anterior sí lo descargué, pero hoy se me... Usted está agregada, está agregada al grupo de WhatsApp. Hasta ahora. Ah, pues no puede ver sí. todavía ahí. No, hasta hoy, hace poquito fue que, que le voy a agregar. Vamos a ver. Porque les compartieron el manual allí sí. en el grupo de WhatsApp. Se lo voy a volver a, a agregar, a mandar. Porque allí está en el grupo de WhatsApp, pero también está en la plataforma. ¿Verdad? Igual lo puede bajar de la plataforma. Es solo que me encienda mi cel que se me había muerto, entonces estaba apagado. Sí, que la otra vez me acuerdo que lo descargué y ahora que deciste, no lo había descargado. No me acuerdo de cuál de los dos lo saqué la vez pasada. Sí, ahí lo puede sacar tanto del manual como de, del grupo de, de ¿cómo se llama? Del, de allí, de la el plataforma, chat. ¿verdad? Lo puede sacar de, de, lo puede bajar de la plataforma o también del grupo de WhatsApp. Ya se lo voy a compartir. Ya me tocaría la tarea numérico, pues. Jeje, creo que me descontó esto. Ahí ya se lo voy a volver a mandar y me dice si lo logro abrir hoy. Va, ahí está. Cheque si lo logra, si lo logra ver. Y de ahí lo puede bajar, así ya lo tiene guardadito. 
The vocabulary. ¿Cuál? La última que está en el, en el, en la yeah. página 9. Que, ah, empieza a Quiero ver. No sé cómo lo pones en el caballero. Guarantee. That's guarantee. You have size, wave, price, dimensions, battery life, storage, storage, function, function, and warranty. Warranty. Mm-hmm. The warranty. Guaranty es la garantía. Tenía como la ley, quizás por la pronunciación. Idea, pero. The tenía. warranty. Sí. Sí, esa es la, la garantía. Right. Uh -huh. Es que así, porque lo más probable es que este vocabulario les, les aparezca, ¿verdad? Ahí en la, en la hora de hacer los ejercicios. Okay. Ya le voy a compartir. Aquí está. That's the, the exercise that we did yesterday. Así le da una repasadita. Yes, the dimensions. Dimensions. Like you say, measure. Measure. Longevity, right? Longevity. Magnitude. The retention. Retention. Mm -hmm. Amount. Design. Design. Purpose. Mm -hmm. Purpose. Purpose. Proportions. Proportions. Measurements. 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 Mm -hmm. Measurements. Mm -hmm. Las measurements son las medidas. ¿Verdad? Las medidas. 
Measurements. Okay. Do you have any other question over there, Carolina? Por el momento creo que no. Okay. Creo que estoy bien por ahorita. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, solo a darle una repasadita, verdad? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Well, see you tomorrow. Have a nice Thank day. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care.